and Yellow Machine. So four minutes to go. That's this lap, and I think one more as they come through the green flag waves. We'll see the white flag. Oh, no, we've been told that. Oh, and behind, off on the infield, the red and white. Oh, my goodness, that was a huge, huge save. Was that was that Wagner in the Spark Performance car? No, that was Michael Carter. It was, it was Michael, Michael Carter. Carter. Yes, you're right. Place. It was Hernan Palermo who went a little bit early, John, in that bright yellow machine and got into uh, Carter slightly. The 20 is all over the track right now. It was also Grant Fragner who was getting a little bit wild on the restart. I wonder if Race Control is going to have another look at that. But somehow they all survived turn one. And the leading quartet becomes a trio. It's still Pardus for Hickson that leads. Oh, and with this is well we we got a word that it would be this would be the last lap I, I wonder whether we'll see the what i did not see the white flag here if i'm honest over the start finish line not too I, much time left on the clock i think there'll be one more lap around after this one oh my goodness me could we have any more drama what a brilliant run it's been <laughs> for preston parnas for hickson motorsport and once again the teammate in the 87, just oh. a little bit of bump drafting uh, in that car in second, selling rolling from Orlando. And look at the oh, third place oh, car. Here comes Thomas. Thomas trying to get a bit of a draft. There's an overlap here into the bus stop. One more time around at the end of this. The top eight or nine are together. If anyone makes a mistake here, anyone in the top 10, all the way down to Justin Piscatel and Brian Ortiz now, by the way, he's up into 10th position. He's got ahead of Atanasio on the restart. So Brian Ortiz is inside the top 10 now uh, in the uh, number four car. And any one of the top 10. And look, the brake light's coming on from the second place driver. He's not actually braking. He's just riding the brake with his left foot so he doesn't run into the leader. And wide and high on the top side. This is an extraordinary run from Wagner. The Spark Performance car that was on pole position. He's gone up into third for the moment. The red, white and black car tries to get into second he's not going to do that but i think he's going to muscle his way into third he's on the inside for the right hand <laughs> turn what what a run from wagner what a brilliant run from wagner and that shows the speed that the pole sitter had of gresham wagner is up into third can he get any further up the field chair yes he can with that sort of determination gresham wagner started that rerun a long way back, the top three were starting to check out. We saw them bump drafting each other with the sustained contact, once again, from Selman Rowland on Preston Partis, but it didn't matter. Gresham Wagner had the hole in the air. He had the draft, and he was making his way up to the top three, nearly getting around all of them going into turn one. Very aggressive move, but it worked. And now the car that started on pole, looking to try and get the most points from the day by winning the race. I love how there's a little tap on the brakes from <laughs> Gresham, the man from Williamsburg, the Spark Performance car, the red, white and black car. Any one of these top four could still win. There is the run to the line now. Here they come. Is it going to be Preston Pardus? I think he's done enough. Oh, I'm not sure. I've said that. And down the inside, he goes running into the bus stop for the final time. Beautiful flat slide by the leader oh my goodness i don't know i really don't know i've seen races from this position here at daytona won by the car that's third or fourth in the line it could even be gresham wagner who was on pole position he benefited from the full course yellow one Lonnie Unzer's car and all of a sudden from line of stern it's one two three it's going to be four wide as they go on the line I've got no clue no clue at all the inner mid two Mazda MX-5 round one of 2020 it could be any one of four cars and it's Wagner Wagner wins from pole position extraordinary you look at this you look at the grid you see the five car started on pole you see the five car wins at the end you think there's nothing to talk about and yet and yet and yet extraordinary stuff 
at one stage there, Shea Adam, there were five cars across the track here at Daytona. MX5 racing, absolutely quality. Wagner knew that if you go all the way up to the wall, you carry a little bit more speed through. Jared Thomas putting two wheels down below the yellow line and our leaders for the entirety of the race completely enveloped by a swarm of cars behind them. That was the sort of instance that you didn't want to watch, but you couldn't find yourself looking away. And Gresham Wagner finally starting out this season as the championship points leader, getting the win at Daytona International Speedway. Hannah Palamo in the bright yellow number 20 slipstream. What slipstream performance car living up to its name at fourth position for him. The leaders coming out of the bus stop. Pardos finishes eighth. Roland, who was second, finishes seventh. An extraordinary run to the line. But in some ways, I'm not surprised <laughs> at all because that's what we've come to ex expect with Inamitsu MX5 Cup Racing, presented by BF Goodrich.